Demon Lomi Gente, what up? It's your boy Gus from Gus Villa Jewelry back with another Q&A Fridays where I answer your burning hot questions about jewelry. As always, you guys know the drill. I put up a post on Instagram. I ask you to ask me anything your little heart desires about jewelry and watches. Today, we got some really, really good questions. Like if you're starting out in the jewelry business, is it an expensive business to start off with? Do I need a lot of cash? We also got questions like what does rose gold look like in 10, 14 and 18 karat? It's a jam packed show. So without further ado, you guys know the drill. Creep hit me with that intro music. Oh. He's in that water somewhere in ambush mode, just like crocodiles do in the bush. Yeah. Here he is. Uh, here he comes. Here he Question number one comes from the boy himself. Go by the Allens, aka Ryan Peasley, aka Pack a Pistol. Shout out to Ryan. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go check it out. It's called Go by the Allens. Anyway, here's the question: Before you were a jeweler, what did you do? Uh, I usually don't answer questions about my personal life, but I figured there's a lot of people that have asked me this before, so I'm just gonna answer it once and for all. I did everything. Uh, I was a struggling and very low talented videographer before I started jewelry. And that's ultimately how I became a jeweler. I partnered up with someone who needed social media help and I was that help and he would teach me the jewelry business and I would teach him how to take pictures and videos. But before I did this, I had a videography company. I also had some dead end jobs like American Express. I actually was a customer service agent. So if you do have an American Express card and you called for anything, I was probably one of those guys that answered it. I hated that job. And before I did that, I worked at T-Mobile, which again was awful. Any of those jobs were something that just didn't really fire up my soul. It's just something that I felt really, really bad. I was never happy at. I hated everyone that I worked at. I was that miserable guy. However, I knew that I had to get out of it. I had to better my position. So I focused on working during the daytime and at night or even in lunch breaks, I would squeeze in as much time as I could to dedicate to my business, which in that case was videography. Now, like I said, I wasn't the best, but I worked at it every single day. And eventually I got to that connection that brought me into the jewelry world. And that's where I'm at today. So if you are struggling in any job out there that you don't like, continue to push, work as hard as you can. Work those corporate hours, but make sure that you make time for yourself and your business. And eventually it will pay off because if there's anyone out there hating their job, I was you. And look at me now, I'm not Bill Gates, but damn it, at least I love coming to the job that I've created for myself. And that's a perfect segue to let you guys know that I've started my own coaching, $99 per hour for 24 hours straight. I will coach you to become the best entrepreneur out there. Let's go. Question number two comes from Wave Wanderers. They want to know which rose gold looks like champagne, 10, 14, or 18. To answer that question, I have to let you know what rose gold comes from. It's basically just regular gold mixed with a copper. If I just were to do those two, it would probably be too hard for that gold to be able to even be casted or bent or anything of that nature. So you have to add different other types of metals to soften it up like platinum or zinc or silver. Everyone has their own rose gold mix. I happen to purchase from a particular store that has its own rose gold alloy that I happen to love a lot. However, if you get big time companies, say for instance, Audemars Piguet or Rolex, they'll have their own secret sauce. Their rose gold looks like their own rose gold. Which one looks like champagne? It's tough because it's whatever kind of mix you put in there. If you put a lot of zinc in your rose gold, it's gonna have kind of like a yellow we undertone if you put a lot of platinum or you put a lot of white base metals it'll have more of like a darkish yellowy look or darkish brownish really look and that's the one that i kind of like the most my rose gold is true rose gold or what i think looks like true rose gold and the difference between carrot is barely noticeable maybe between 18 and 14 if they were the exact same mix the 18 carat would have a slightly darker tone with a little bit of yellow in there because it's only 25 percent but at the end of the day it really just depends on the mix and 
what's being added in there. There's a common misconception out there that 14 karat is supposed to look like something or 18 karat is supposed to look like something. It's whatever the mix is in there. You guys are probably just used to seeing 14 karat yellow from Italy, which is what most alloys look like. So you think that it looks a certain way, but that just means it's the alloy from Italy. I can ultimately buy that alloy anywhere around here and make it look exactly the same. So to answer your question, I don't really know what looks like champagne. It just depends on the mix. Question number three comes from Michael underscore WGs. He wants to know, is it expensive to get into the jewelry business? Absolutely not. I myself got into this jewelry business with barely any money. I didn't need a large investment. My recommendation, if you're looking to break through into the jewelry industry, is start with low costing metals. A perfect example is either stainless steel or silver. A gram of silver is about 78 to 85 cents. If you start doing little rings and little pendants and anything custom, it's not gonna cost you much money. Probably the most important thing that you're gonna want to know is connections. So what I would suggest you do is start saving up a little bit of money, not much, maybe you need three to 500 bucks and start working your way up there by apprenticing in any one of these major shops. Get to somewhere that a jeweler is gonna say, hey, listen, I can't pay you much, but I'm going to teach you. And in the meantime, anything that they teach you, go home and try it yourself. I just recently did a podcast with a guy named Made by Marv. You guys may know him, he's on Instagram. And the guy taught himself how to make Cuban link chains by watching thousands and thousands of hours on YouTube on videos of how to actually make the chain. Messing them up, redoing them, messing them up and redoing them. And now he's one of the best Cuban link chain makers out there. All you need is determination and a will to get better at whatever it is you do. But if I were to recommend at least one metal to work with, start off with silver. You start doing little pieces, flipping them on Instagram, and each one of those profit gains that you have reinvest it back into your business and allow it to grow. That's how I got here in the span of about two years. I've been able to grow my business and I didn't start with much. Now, eventually, once you get big and you want to get really, really big, you'll need some sort of investment. Question number four comes from August Reyes underscore. He wants to know what type of watches are you into divers, chronographs, pilots, etc. That is a very, very easy question. I love a good dive watch. I think it's the best entry watch for anybody looking to get into this ugly, disgusting world of collecting watches. The first watch you should go out there and get should be between anywhere from five to a thousand dollars. Of course, here at Gus Villa Jewelry, we do have an array of dive watches between Submariners, 50 Fathoms. There's a bunch of things to choose from, but I think that that should be your starting. Of course, there are people that love chronographs. Pilots are beautiful watches and the list goes on and on. But if this is going to be your very first time, go with a dive watch. It's simple, it's beautiful, and it's timeless. And you can wear it both with a suit. And of course, you can go out and do an oil change with it as well. So dive watches are my personal favorite. Is Am I wrong or is there a better answer to that? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you like the sub dials of a chronograph. Maybe you like big old numbers like a big pilot or anything like that. That's fine. However, my personal opinion, go with that Submariner. And we have it on sale at gossipbilladjewelry.com. Hit me up for your watch needs. Hit me. Next question. Question number five and the final question for today's Q&A Fridays comes from heavy underscore God underscore hops. He wants to know, do you guys have a payment plan? That question gets asked all the time. And yes, we do have a payment plan. You have financing through gusvillajewelry.com. No problem. We have things like Klarna. We have things like Asima and we have things like Afterpay. All of those are available through our website. Asima is the only one that you're gonna have to reach out to us, tell us what you want, and then we send you over the application. But Klarna, PayPal Credit, sorry, I missed that one, and Afterpay are all located on my website. You grab whatever it is that you want from our website. Say you want a five millimeter, 14 karat chain, you throw it, <coughs> you check out, and right at the checkout, it's gonna ask you how you want to pay. You enter all your information and you select what finance company works best for you. You apply, once it gets approved, that email comes up to us and then it's a 15 day wait for you to get your piece. You won't actually get charged until the piece is delivered. Stop asking me this question because we have it at gusvillagejewelry.com. That about does it for another Q&A Fridays. Thank you for tuning in. This week is gonna be a little bit special. For next week's episode, I'm not gonna put a post on Instagram. It's gonna come directly from the messages 
below comment down below what it is that you want to know anything about jewelry anything about the business of jewelry anything about watches anything that you're looking to purchase maybe you need some recommendations let me know in the comments below i'm going to answer all of those next friday guys we have some specials remember that gold over silver is going to be ending at the end of this month for all of you asking me are we going to continue to replay any of your pieces yes i will replay any of your pieces until the one year warranty is up sometime next year of course i do have this 159 gram seven millimeter 25 inch 22 carat chain for sale still plus i got a bunch of other watches and i got another pieces as well hit me up visit gusvillajewelry.com or give us a call we will see you guys in the next video holla